new technology and is an auto cert, where we do not have a hot water return line. This particular case is under the fixture, the last fixture out there. And you hook the cold water and the hot water to the little circulator. And what it does, and maybe the next picture helps you a little bit more, you see how this is the same auto circ out at the end of the pipe. And there's no domestic hot water recirc line. It's on the domestic supply line. Supply hot water, supply chip cold water. So what the circulator has done is they, they're connecting the hot and the cold water supply to, the, to that last fixture into the circulator. Now, there's a temperature sensor in that little circulator. If that circulator senses the set point, 105, 110, it cuts off. If the temperature drops, and there's a little delta T there as well, just say 100 degrees, whatever your set point is, if it senses it, it turns on the circulator, pumps a little bit of hot water into the cold water supply side a little bit of hot water into the cold water supply side until that temperature is back up to set point, which is what, 105, 110, whatever you got to set on. It's very little water, cuts right back off. It's very little water, and it's not going to upset you because it's just a touch of hot water to the cold water side to maintain it. So when you go to that fixture to take a shower or wash your hands, you got hot water instantly. This also comes with a time clock. If you want to have a time situation so you can time it, some, it, it uh, off hours or whatever you want to do it. But this is some new technology, kind of a point of usage, but it also will maintain hot water to all the fixtures going out there. So if you put one at the end and it does away with the domestic hot water research pipe, great idea for fixing problem jobs you may have. Here's another little snapshot showing showers and how it fits underneath the sink. You will need a power supply out of that last fixture to plug it in 110. And just some quick comments to take a look at. Uh, here's a little picture of it. We're not here to talk product, but just you see how the top cap has a cold water supply and a hot water supply going into it. Very little energy uses on these things. In fact, uh, we see a lot of them in houses where you don't have domestic hot water. Maybe somebody's upstairs three or four floors away, and they're waiting a minute or two for hot water, and all that cold water is going down the drain. This will fix that problem nicely for you, very inexpensively. In fact, there's a newer version of it that's wireless, to where you put the pump at the water heater, as shown, pumps at the water heater, and there's a little valve out at that last sink that's wireless that senses the temperatures and turns the pump on and off to make sure that you've got hot water. It allows the hot water to go to the cold water side through a little valve, but it's all senseless. So it works quite well. And look at the wattage, 14 watts. That's a night light. That's nothing more than a night light at my house. So interesting stuff coming that you guys should be aware of. Again, no hot water research lines is the benefit of this. Commercially and residential, great little application. So we got the, the wattage thing we talked about a little bit. Here's the typical curves. But we're not here to really go through this, except this is really new technology you should be aware of. 